How y'all doing? I'm Tobin and I'm back in the den and I'm about to kick off a beta test. A beta test that I've been encouraged to share with you guys. I've done beta tests in the past and my favorite type of beta test is this type of beta test. I've done it two or three times previous. Those ones I'm still not allowed to talk about, but this one I've been encouraged to talk about. Last week, Gareth at the Shave Supply, a good friend of mine in the community, he's the owner of the Shave Supply down in California. He reached out to me and asked if I would test out a couple of soap bases for him. Both of these are fra fra blah, 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 fragrance free and I'm supposed to just give him my feedback. So I haven't tried them yet. I've put my nose on them. They're both fragrance free and they both smell extremely similar. Um, if I recall correctly, I think I liked the smell of number one better, but we're not judging the smell. We're going to be judging the performance. So I thought I would share on video with you guys how the first test goes. And then over the next few days, I will be playing with it. The first one, I'll put a picture of it right up here, took a couple of photos. It's more of a puck. This one, when for one of the things I first noticed is it rattles a little bit and falls out into my hand. So it's kind of got more of that traditional puck to where it doesn't cling into the tub. The second one, put it right up there. It doesn't come out and it doesn't rattle. He's with a Sharpie, it looks like he's written number two and number one down on the bottom. I didn't have two bowls that I felt would be adequate enough to do with this. So one thing I wanted to keep constant is the brushes. I'll be using the Atomic Rocket. I'll be using the original Atomic Rocket with the red. This is gonna go with number one since it came out first. And then I'll be using the black for the number two. The knots are identical. Both are 26 millimeter plus on type known as a suave knot. Both are completely dry. I have lots of water on, on hand. I'll be using my Terry's bowl for number one and my Rodak bowl for number two. I'll be using a one milliliter scoop. Let's do this. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, as a schnerd, as a shave, a shaving nerd, as a hobbyist, I have always enjoyed, so let's get this in my hand. I just want to feel it first. Kind of firm, or it is firm, um, not rock hard firm. A little piece just dropped off. Let's get it back in my measuring doohickey. Clean off the edges. This is firm enough that it's going to be kind of hard to get it exact, but it doesn't have to be exact as long as we get it close. So that's not too bad. I'm going to go with that. Push that down in. That's what it looks like in the bowl sitting up. I'll give it a little smash down. I didn't put out any content last weekend. I attempted to, but it didn't work out a week ago Monday. Today is Thursday, my first day off of the weekend. Number two. A week ago Monday, this is much softer. Not it's not still not what I'd call a soft soap. Let's feel it in my hand. Um, but it definitely is more pliable, more tacky. Flatten it down a little bit. That's too small. And I'll repeat this process the next week or so, playing with it, trying to use as close as possible amounts with each. But as at work, and for those who don't know, I drive a big 45 foot bus and I do that for the state of Oregon with the service known as Point. And that's because we go from point to point. I take people from the Eugene Amtrak to the San Luis Amtrak and the Portland Amtrak, essentially. We are a partnership with Amtrak. That's what it looks like scooped out on number two right up here. And right here is where the scoop came out on number one. I was driving south though, 
on the I-5. And when I leave the Portland Amtrak, I leave right at 5 o'clock p.m. So I always hit rush hour. And rush hour in Portland is nothing like, you know, Houston or L.A. or New York City. But our roads are smaller and they're, for the most part, equally congested. Um, for three years, I drove truck over the road 48 in Canada from 01 to 04. So I haven't experienced those cities in a long time, but it's still a bit of a traffic nightmare, especially Oregonians. We can drive in the rain, but when the roads are dry, I don't know about them. Going to do three milliliters of water in each to begin with. So I'll add those to the bowl now. And of course, in rush hour traffic, people tend to get in a bigger hurry than they normally are. And this fellow, older gentleman, in his 60s, apparently didn't see my big white bus, which always has its lights on, and that's common. Uh, I don't have a timer, a real timer, but I'm going to watch the ticker on my video. And I'm going to start at the 6.30 mark, and I'll whip this for about 30 seconds, and start now. And as you can see, I'm not going to put up photos of the, of the accident. I've, I've shared it with a few people, but I don't want to put it on YouTube. I smashed it down a little bit more. He apparently didn't see my bus, like I was saying, and came over into my lane and he did so in such a way that on this old this 76 or 78 Chevy pickup that his metal bumper and we're traveling at about 30 miles an hour um we have cameras on the buses and I was actually traveling at 27 at the moment of impact but that's also because I would slow down because I saw him coming I was going a little bit faster than that as he approached me most of it is now in the brush Ooh, and I went over. Let me give it a couple more seconds so that we can call it about a minute. Boom. Call that about a minute. We'll add more water when I come back to it. Smash this just a little bit more. So far, I'm liking the way that number two behaves. It's just easier to load in this first initial test. And so that bumper, because he didn't see me and he tried to cut into my lane too soon. And in doing so, he... I already want to add more water to this one, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to let myself. I've got a few more seconds here of whipping. Hooked my bus just right, and he, of course, then panicked, and long story short, he ripped off my door, and he then crashed into a, what we call a Jersey barrier. I'm going to add a little bit more water. Um, let's go with three, I'm just going to go, actually, let's go with four, four milliliters. I'll reload my syringe over here. I have a cup of water to my left, your right. So I just reloaded. I added four there. When I come back over here to number two, I'll throw four into it. Get my water down the bottom, and I can't see it. I had about 30 passengers on board. Everyone was okay. He hit the Jersey barrier pretty hard. He was shooken up, but it was okay. So, of course, that meant I had the next day off with pay while I did the investigation. I went and did the, you know, urine analysis and all that stuff. And, uh... So I just kind of set my weekend off on a wonky foot on Sunday. What am I doing on time? I didn't think to look on time. But I'm liking how this is starting to turn out already. Let's see what it looks like in my hand. Got a little clump right there that didn't get mixed. Beautiful. Let me grab a rag. On Sunday, Luna and I went to go do a review of Doppelganger Plum at a new place. 
I like this texture, Gareth, that we've never been to before called the Kentucky Trailhead and Waterfall System. Well, I'll tell you when I do the actual review of Plum, it didn't work out because the road that we were on ended up dead ending, being a dead end because of this big giant berm. And I think maybe there was some landslides or something up ahead. We walked this trail for a while. So long story short, what I'm trying to say is I didn't put out any content last weekend just because it was a wild week. And then by the time we got back to the road and where I had better service where I could look at Google Maps again to find another way up there, it was just getting too late and I had to be at work the next day. So we cut our losses, hiked some trails, played in the water, and uh, try again this weekend. I'll do my review of, of that and Mosper this weekend. So it was at four, and I said we're doing four, milli four milligrams, right? Is that right? I'll take it down to six. Boom. So there's four in this one. I really like the texture and feel of number one. I really, really do. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right. Let's whip this guy up real quick. I also received something in the mail today from Andy at the wet shaving store. Can't wait to give you guys a first impressions video of that and crack it open. I'm gonna record it here in a little bit. Oh yeah, this is another beautiful lather. I can't wait to shave with these. And I, I will use both of these on video and I will play with them a couple of times in the process as well, probably before I do my first shave video with them. This Friday, um, 5 p.m. Pacific, so that's that's what, tomorrow's the 27th. Phil Decker from Bricktown Grooming will join Smiley and I on We Shave. And I will use probably number one for that shave, and I will use one of Bricktown's splashes. So 5 p.m. Pacific, We Shave on Instagram. A little airy, that's probably my fault. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it is my fault. Uh, this is a good looking lather too. I, I really like the looks and feel of number one. And this one looks beautiful and creamy. I'll share with you guys how this goes on my end. As well as sharing it with Gareth. This is something I've always enjoyed doing. Um, as a hobbyist lathering different bases against each other and not even shaving with them, just playing with them. So this one is more creamy, more yogurty. I think just touching it, this will be a consistency and this just be my first time lathering them too, right? Um, I think this is gonna be a consistency that more guys in the community would look for, but I haven't shaved with them. And it's only my first time lathering them. So 5 p.m. the 27th. That's tomorrow. I'm going to have this video up here in a few minutes. Today's Thursday the 26th. Instagram. We shave. Get a live shave. Smiley, myself, and Phil Decker. He is the artisan, in case you don't know, of Bricktown Grooming. And is a damn good friend of mine. Um, talk with him on the telephone the whole nine yards. I love Phil. He is damn good people. And uh, love Smiley, another great, amazing artisan and friend of mine. I'm looking so forward to it. We shave is once a month. I'm going to contact some people and see about some giveaways for that tomorrow and for this upcoming weekend. And also look for a Rambles, Rants, and Razors video. And in that one, I will tell you who is getting their hands on those soap sets from last my last video and uh, offer up a couple more. Thanks for joining me. Gareth, thank you. Um, I'm not an affiliate. I'm not going to profit from anything at the Shave Supply. But some of my favorite soaps that I purchased from the Shave Supply, you may have noticed them up there. I've I've bought all of those from him. Right now, Valley of Ashes, that's a limited edition from Southern Witchcrafts. He has the splash marked down to $11 and the soap is 17 
That is a killer masculine fragrance. I believe I talked about that in my top five from Southern Witchcrafts. Black Rock, amazing fragrance. That's a collaboration with uh, Gareth and Sean at Macduff's. Crossroads and the Weight from First Line Shave. Bangers. And then we have Noble Otters Joker. Amazing fragrance. I can't wait to get my hands on Jack. That's part of the card series from No Water. All of those are available there. I will not profit from it. Those are just things that I've bought there that I love from a guy that I love. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Gareth. I can't wait to dig into these. Thank you for joining me. If you're still watching, I love you. And I love you a long time. Seize the day. Carpe diem. Remember, it really is the little big things. Don't sweat the stuff that don't matter. Like politics. Who fucking cares. Y'all take care. I'll see you soon. Thanks for joining me.